Morning, Fraser. Another beautiful day outside. Sunshine, 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 which is good. Hopefully that melts the snow a little bit. It's supposed to start getting a little bit warmer. Looking forward to that. So today I'm going to Dad's actual appointment uh, for his dentures. Um, guy should be there by 9.30 or so, which is good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got to stop by the church, I think, and uh, take a look at a couple things. Just uh, prepare for tomorrow, just for some stuff we're going to do. I'm going to build a support wall underneath the underneath the uh, landing there, where the leaks kind of rot in some of the some of the wood. So, just to, to make sure that it's safe and all that wonderful stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get the day going. Here with Dad. Getting his, uh, his dentures done, yeah. right? So, do you want to say hi, Dad? Want to say hi? You, you don't have to see it, they can see you. You want to say hi? No? Okay, he doesn't want to say hi. Red Julie's car loading today. Beating our feelings. <laughs> so that's what Allie was talking about. It goes down into the uh, bowl, and then comes out here for the ball and the foosball table. And this... This is this. So clearly that's and oh it's broken on both sides. So it was more packing tape than scotch tape. Ali wasn't quite correct in that, but that's okay. This one doesn't look as bad, but still broken. We'll take a look, we'll see if we can fix it. See what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> once on the other side, once on this side. <laughs> Smack my head on these silly things. All right, I'm gonna take these home. I don't know. See what I can figure out. So again, Allie said, you know, like. Maybe it just needs duct tape. And I said, no, no, no. And I was pretty arrogant about it, I think. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I was. Got another project. Uh, the taps over there are toast. They're leaking up a storm. I don't know how long they've been leaking. Ugh. But they're leaking, so. Yeah, it's the taps themselves and the connections. Anyway, not a big deal. Something oh. short somewhere, something. Or if there was a short somewhere, it could have put the starter into a loop. Yep. That's what Jason said. Oh. <laughs> Not a happy camper. Somebody's annoyed with you. Hey, Jesse's here. Hey. 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 <laughs> It's a late day today. I'm back up with Dad this afternoon, um, doing uh, doing more denture stuff. Not that I was doing it, but the denture guy was doing more denture stuff. Anyway, we're gonna fix these right now. I don't know 
why I'm putting this in tonight. Because I was just planning on bringing it back here and doing it tomorrow, but I think we got enough on the go tomorrow. But I don't want to forget this. And I want the youth to be able to use it on on uh, Wednesday. I'm going to tape this again with some uh, with some uh, Gorilla tape still. Did I put any on there? I didn't even put any on there yet. still working. I knocked the camera down. <laughs> Compared to how that looked earlier, look at how it looks now. That is solid. That is solid. It's not going anywhere. The balls will come down, I hope, and work properly. Shall I try it first? Maybe afterwards. Let's get this next one up first. screws. One of the worst screws going. You know, good on you better for better than con. Better than a common screw, but man oh man. Roberts are so much better. Should have had you laying like this with me. What I should have had you doing. Right there. See? That's the way to go. Get the same eye view. This is just all extra stuff now. Using up the screws and you know. Good and solid. That ain't going anywhere. I don't know about you, but I don't feel like getting up right now. <laughs> try not to hit, try not to hit my head again. All right, I think that looks good under there. I wasn't planning on doing this job today. It just kind of happened. All right, let's see how I can do. How I can do. Let's see how I do. against myself and I'm still losing. the way it sits it's, it's too far over that way it's gonna come back over this way like an inch half inch something like that I thought I was done but that's why I test things right got to test things to see if it works it works okay but certainly not where it should be more screws in this plastic uh, tray than there is in the whole table, I think, but, you know. 
the table will fall apart. But the screws not, or the uh, the track's not going to again. That's for sure. We're gonna do a job. Let's do it right. You know, let's do it as close to perfect as we possibly can. Get glasses on, just in case. Just saying. Should always have glasses on. Doing upside down work like this. Okay, again. Still very good, very tight. I like it. Seriously, I can't score for scoring. Okay. I'm gonna fix that with tape too, Gorilla Tape. What I'm gonna do is put a little, little flap here that'll hold this in. It'll go on there, it'll be black, you won't notice it, and it, but it'll flip up a little bit. So when the ball comes down, it'll hit, but it won't come right out. That's what I'm gonna do. Gorilla Tape, love this stuff. Let's go home and have some dinner. I just about stole the foosball. No sense fixing the foosball table if there's no ball. Hey Fraser, hope you're having a good day, bud. Uh, a bit of a kind of a weird day for me. Funny day, good day, not a bad day, but you know, just a different day. And got up there with uh, with Dad uh, a little early. It was good, just kind of sitting around hanging out with him until the dentist guy gets there, and and uh, notice his fingers still a little swollen, right? Um, his it's actually this finger, his middle finger on his on his uh, left hand, just swollen, right? Like, don't know what it did. It was a little bit purple, but you know, it looked like maybe he got it banged in something or that. But uh, anyway, he's sitting up there with him, waiting for the dentist, and uh, dentist gets there, and and dad did really well, actually. Uh, a, he was sitting out in the coffee area, which he really hasn't done for a long time, but he, he wanted to sit in the coffee area. Great, much better than him laying in the bed all the time, right? So it was fantastic. Um, anyway, we wound up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we walk back with the dentist guy, uh, and he's got a walker now. He doesn't use a cane anymore. He uses a walker. And we're walking back to his room, and I'm noticing that his walker just looks weird, and I don't, I don't know why. He's missing. There's, there's so they, it's, the walker's got the wheels on the one on the front, and then it's got like, like you're supposed to, you know, lift it and move it. But lots of these guys, lots of people, don't do that. They actually have little Teflon sliders on the bottom of the, the back, so they just kind of push and, and go, right? And I look down, and I, I notice that one doesn't have it. And it looks quite small. The walker looks smaller than I recall, but oh well. But, uh, that's weird. So we're about through most of the way back to his room, and I, I, I just run a quick ways up to, to look in his room, and sure enough, his walker's in there. So he's stolen somebody else's walker. <laughs> no idea who, no idea where. Somewhere there's somebody looking for a walker. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Dad did really well with the, the dentist guy, you know, because he had to do a couple molds. And Dad listened and, and uh, you know, did what he was asked to do, you know, like clamping his teeth and keeping his teeth clamped and all that sort of stuff. And, and the dentist was really, really happy with how well and quickly it worked. Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't convinced that Dad was going to be able to have the memory to keep his mouth closed when he needed to keep it closed and all that sort of stuff. Uh, his memory at times is that short, right? Like seconds. And, uh, but he did really, really well. So it was awesome. Yeah, I came home and uh, turned like Carol was going to have a visit with, uh, with um, a nurse. Does, nur nur does nurse calls. Nurse does home calls, home visits and stuff, right? With her. So every, every week or so. So I wanted to chat with her a little bit uh, for Allie. Because Allie was going out to uh, to a meeting with uh, with Chas. Then Jesse came over, so uh, sat and chat with Jesse for a little while, and then Jesse wanted to show me his place. Jesse and his wife are building a house uh, next block over, about four four doors down, give or take. Place looks amazing. From his second floor, from the bedroom, he has a ridiculous view of water. It is just amazing, fantastic view. Uh, he's got a bonus room upstairs as well that also has a peekaboo view because it's higher windows of the water. I want him to set up a like a zoom camera on at the window pointing out to the water so that I just constantly have a, a feed as to what the water's doing so I know if it's rough or not. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna do that for me. I really don't. I don't know. 
Anyway, uh, came home and then had to go to Rona uh, so that I can make Sharon mad and pick up uh, some stuff for, you know, building maintenance tomorrow. And uh, it's like 323 and my phone starts ringing. I'm driving, right? So I, and I don't, I don't touch my cell phone while I'm driving, but I might, I've got the one touch thing on the ears. So I tap my ears. It's like one of those, uh, you know, the headset kind of things, right? One tap to the ear and, and uh, it's the, it's the dentist secretary, wife, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, Dentra says, uh, yeah, he's, because uh, I guess it's five appointments, right? Like it's the first one and then five more, or three, four more in total to make five. Yeah, Dentra says he's going to be at the uh, at your dad's place uh, between 3.30 and 3.45. It's, it's literally 3.23. I said, well, that's pretty much right now, so I guess I'm going there right now then. So anyway, I went and hung up with dad again for a little while. I noticed his, his hand again, it was it was weird. It was it was starting to it was almost like it was swelling and getting red on an angle, like this, like a di not a diamond but a triangular shape, down in here, kind of kind of pointing this way. So I, I brought it up to the nurse. Now, you know I'm old, right? But still, I bring it up to the nurse, and she's like twelve, maybe thirteen. And, uh, and I, I didn't know she was a nurse, you know, cause I'm, I'm looking, there's, I can't see anybody, nobody's around and stuff. So this, this young lady, um, dressed in clearly works there, but there's no, there's nothing indicating what they do. There's no signs. There's no big flashing signs saying nurse saying carry it or whatever, but I had seen her carrying food earlier. So, <clears throat> okay. She came by again. I said, excuse me, are you, are you a uh, carry? She's like, no, I'm a nurse. I'm like, oh, excellent. Well, I wanted to talk to you about dad's hand. Come on over here and I'll show you. And, and she's standing there going like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I wonder maybe if it's, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, hmm. Well, I really don't know. Uh, let me call the, 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 the registered nurse and I'll talk to her. And she calls the registered nurse and, you know, gets back to me and whatever and, like, she literally didn't leave. She was doing whatever and comes back. Says, yeah, um, like, do you want me to call the doctor, like, to have the doctor come right now? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's necessary. I said, I just am concerned about, you know, the fact that, A, it's still swollen. Uh, he's he's in pain. Um, you know, I know they gave him Tylenol yesterday. Like, you know, she says, oh, well, well, let's just see what he wants. And I'm just shaking my head. She walks up to the, so, so your finger hurts, your, your finger, yeah, 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 it hurts, yeah, it hurts. Would you like some Tylenol? No, not really. I said, he's going to say that. He's going to say he doesn't want meds. He has dementia. Even when he didn't have dementia, he would have said no. He's going to sit there in pain. He's going to complain about the pain, but he's going to sit there in pain. So sure enough, she went and got him some, some Tylenol. But she still comes back and she says, yeah, I don't know, the nurse, uh, we can, we can, you know, like uh, the doc, there's a, there's a note into the doctor to, to, you know, ask the doctor what they want to do. Um, I said, yeah, no, I said, that's fine. I said, I just want to make it known. I said, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. I said, I don't know what causes this. He's either done something only to that finger or maybe is it something to do with his diabetes? Or I said... You know, I am not a professional. I said, I don't even have a, a, you know, doctor's license from a TV program I watched once. But I said, it's it's kind of, it's swollen and it's hot here. Like, it's literally hot when you touch it here. Here it's ice cold. Hot, ice cold in, a, in an angular direction. So at that point, I'm thinking, hmm. Like, to me, I'm just thinking all my, my industrial first aid stuff. And I'm thinking, if that's a blood infection, like, or some sort of an infection at the very least, that could start doing that, right? If it's a, especially if it's a blood infection, it'll start going down and it'll go up into the veins kind of thing, right? Um, from what I recall. She, and, but she's looking at it, she's going, well, yeah, I wonder if it's broken. Maybe if it's broken. Even if, I said, it's not broken. I said, you can, you can do this, you can touch it. There's no point tenderness. It's not broken. He can move it. It's not broken. But it's swollen and he's in pain. Figure it out. But she just kept saying that, I don't, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, of course you haven't, because you're 12. I'm just saying. You know, very, very nice. She's very, very nice. But, like, seriously? 
I think it might be broken. And you're not doing anything about it, but it's not broken because a very quick test will tell you that it's not actually broken. Uh, it still could be, right? But, you know, that point tenderness depends on his, his pain tolerance and all that sort of stuff. But uh, it just, it was a little bit frustrating. <laughs> anyway, the second denturous thing, he did two appointments at the same time. Um, and Dad, again, did really, really well. And the denturist was, was quite pleased. And it sounds like they're, he wants to get another one maybe tomorrow afternoon um, to get it finished up. He wants to get it finished for Dad as quick as possible to get him his teeth, which is really good, actually. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, then I then I ripped a Rona because uh, I still had to get the the materials for tomorrow and make sure that I made Sharon angry, you know. So, and then uh, took the stuff to uh, to the church, dropped that stuff off, and I thought, you know what, I've got those trays here anyway. I don't want to forget about it tomorrow. Let's just do it because tomorrow night's youth, and the, I don't want the, I want the youth to be youth to be able to play. So, so I went in and got that all done and stuff and, and that was good it worked out well i can't believe how chintzy those those plastic trays were though so i just took the the gorilla tape and taped it up and i do have to apologize to ally for being uh and, and she watched me fixing it with the tape but i was a little arrogant when i said you know uh, no i'm not gonna use duct tape <laughs> uh, or yeah we're gonna use gorilla tape <laughs> so ah <sighs> yeah i gotta you know yeah anyway i'll apologize Nonetheless, it worked out well. They they seem very strong. Uh, they're they're built up fairly thick now. They're screwed in multiple places. If they break, they break. I'll fix them again, but I don't think they will. I mean, this, the kids aren't going to be smacking on. I'm just going to put that little bit of a flap of, of tape in there tomorrow, and and then the ball won't be sailing out all over the place, kind of thing, right? So, but it seemed to be a long day. We actually were supposed to be. Oh yeah, it's it's quite late now. Actually, it's about ten to eight tonight. So. Um, we were supposed to be going to home group tonight, but again, I didn't get home till like 20 after five or five thirty or something like that tonight. So it was just like, yeah, no, we can't. It's just not going to, not going to rush, not going to stress, just going to take her time. And Allie was saying the same thing. Allie had a bit of a long day and you know that, and had a, had a meeting with a, a dietitian with uh, Carol this morning and, you know, just all this stuff going on. Right. So. So we're just taking a night off. Just taking a night off. So, so now, I have new glasses, which is funny because I actually have new glasses coming, new prescription lenses coming, prescription reading glasses, because I guess I've got a bit of an astigmatism in my left eye. Um, it's not major, but you know, it's enough that they're giving me prescription glasses so that I can read properly, which is nice. I can still read with my regular readers, which is fine, but now I've got these, which are are blue blockers, so there's no um, there's no prescription to these, no prescription. There's no magnification to these, so they're not good for reading. I, I look down here, I can't I can't read a thing. It's all blurry, but it's it's blocking the blue light from the computer, so they're great for this, right? But now I'm going to be doing this all the time, right? I'm only going to keep these. I was thinking I was only going to keep these in the computer room, in the office, but. These would also be good for, for the, now I can't use them for, I'm going to say they'd be good for the, the cell phone, but now I can't see the cell phone with these, I need these. So these are only going to stay in the office, strictly for my computer. That's it. So if you see me swinging glasses back and forth, that's why. All right. So we are still, still in John, Gospel of John, Chapter 5. Again, I told you there was so much in this chapter, it's ridiculous. We're, we're going to start in we're going to start in verse 31 tonight. Jesus is still talking, still talking to the Jewish leaders. So now he says to them, "If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. John the Baptist. Verse 30, 36. It says, I have a testimony weightier than that of John the Baptist. For the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me. So he's got John the Baptist who testified. Look, there's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He's got the works and the miracles that he's been doing that testify 
who he is. And in verse 37 it says, And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. And that was when Jesus was being baptized by John the Baptist. So I'll read those two quickly. Uh, this is John 1, verse 29. The next day, John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist testifies who Jesus is. And if we go over to Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up by John the Baptist, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he, John the Baptist, saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on Jesus. And a voice came from heaven saying, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So God testifies to who Jesus is. And the works that Jesus did, the miracles that Jesus did, testified about him as well. The reason this is important is, uh, you know, one person's testimony is one thing. But even, especially in Jewish culture, uh, testimony is only valid on the account of two or three witnesses, right? Well, there's three witnesses. John the Baptist, God and the actual work that Jesus was doing, all testified to say that Jesus is the Messiah. He is the Christ. I'm going to leave it at that tonight. And the fact that He is the Christ, the fact that He is the Messiah, He is the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. On that cross, He became sin. Still my fish with Fraser on my Bible. <laughs> The Bible says that all the sin of the world was laid on Jesus. Jesus literally became sin, which is why God the Father had to turn his, his head away, his face away from Jesus when Jesus was dying on the cross. He became the sin of the world so that we could be free from sin, so that we could have justification that we don't deserve. Because he loved us that much. He loves us that much. God loves you very much, buddy. I love you too. I miss you. I look forward to seeing you soon. And I will post more tomorrow.